If there even exists such a thing as an opportune moment for your home's hot water to go out, trust me, that ain't the moment it's going to happen. Most likely, it'll be right when you need that perfect blouse clean for your work presentation the next morning, when you desperately need clean dishes before your dinner guests arrive that evening, or when you're right in the middle of a shower with a face full of shampoo. Over time, sediment in your home's water supply settles in the bottom of your water heater tank, reducing efficiency, potentially leading to clogs, and shortening the life of this vital household system. Even if you manage to avoid that uncomfortable shampoo scenario, on average it's going to cost you $600 for repairs and more than three times that amount for replacement. That's why it's incumbent upon you to be sure you flush your water heater at least every one to three years. Follow these seven steps to avoid getting yourself into hot water at the most inopportune moment. Step one, shut them down. If you have a gas water heater, turn the control knob to pilot. If you have an electric heater, you'll need to find the circuit breaker that controls it and flip it off. The water heater we're showing you here today is actually a gas heater with an electric control panel and off switch. You'll also want to turn off the cold water that leads to the tank, either by closing the spigot or turning the valve. Step two, cool it. Wait a few hours to let the hot water inside the water heater cool so you don't get burned. Step three, hook up the hose. You'll need to give the water inside the tank a path to exit. Attach a standard household hose to the drain tap near the bottom of your water heater and place the other end of the hose into your bucket. Step four, take the pressure off. To relieve some pressure in the tank and help it empty, you might want to turn on the hot water faucets in your home and then turn them off once they've run for a bit. Step five, let it flow. Again, be sure the end of your hose is in your bucket, then open the drain valve. The valve often has a built-in knob you can use, but you may need to insert a flathead screwdriver into the slot and turn it counterclockwise. Water will begin flowing rapidly out of the tank, so be sure the hose stays in the bucket. You'll likely go through several bucketfuls before the tank finishes draining. When your bucket fills up, simply shut the valve off by reversing the process you use to open it up. Empty the bucket either in your floor drain, outside in your yard, or some other reasonable place to dump dirty water. Step six, don't forget to flush. Most of the sediment should come out by draining the tank, but if you have some stubborn sediment left over, you can flush it with cold water by following your manufacturer's instructions. Step seven, restart, refill, review. Turn the cold water at the top of the tank back on. Either turn the electricity or the gas back on depending on the type of water heater you have. And last, to ensure that everything's in working order, go back to your household faucets and open them up to ensure water's flowing through them. Now that we got that handled, I'm gonna go finish that shower. Actually, I think I'm going to take a bath. <sighs> I feel so pretty.